lighting change. I'm affecting the lighting somehow. At least how the camera sees it. Whoa! What's going on? Interesting. <sighs> I keep finding new fun things to do with the camera. Anyway, here's to you. Mm. Practically done. Happy Thursday! It's Thursday. It's 619. 619. 619. 619. People still do that? Current temperature is 33 degrees. When I woke up this morning, there was a dusting of snow out, which made things very treacherous because it's covering a giant sheet of ice. So there was a lot of uh, unintentional acting out as if we were a Kramer on Seinfeld. Whoa! That, that kind of thing, you know. <sighs> I don't think I have any comments again. Oh no, actually there are. I just gotta find them because I haven't loaded them up. Uh, and now I just took out the window I had open. Very organized. Way to go, kids. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, yesterday, got to see a very satisfying win when the Timberwolves beat the Blazers. And in the process, because Houston did lose to the Raptors, Timberwolves pulled even with them. Now, they hold the tiebreaker. They're 3-1 against the Rockets. So, right now, the Timberwolves are the number 8 seed in the playoffs. Were the playoffs to be held today, which they are not. So, just in case this is the only day that they are playoff eligible, right now. And that is the first time this season because they started the season off with three losses. So, what do we got? Bafo posted some logos because I was talking about the Timberwolves logo. Are any logos obviously better than the one they replaced? Buccaneers, perhaps. Hmm. No. Because I'm thinking, the Blue Jays eventually went back to theirs. Logo changes. Mm. Not really. And I've kind of paid attention to them over the recent years as I've been making thread icons for teams and whatnot. I will say I like the Golden State Warriors logo. But even that was like a throwback to an earlier one, so... But the one that replaced wasn't too bad either. So Golden State Warriors, maybe. Cerebus likes it when I use props. We find a prop to play with. Um, what do we got? One of the candles. Battery's still good. Let me mess up the lighting even more. Look how dark it got when I put the light up close. Oh no, the camera doesn't know what to do. There we go. What is the number one thing you would do on camera if you thought that no one would ever watch it but yourself? Well, that's a stupid question. If no one's going to watch it but me, why would I bother in the first place? Oops. I think I just broke my... Oh, there it is. It's going to see how long I can hold it on my head, but it turns out, not too long. What's the number two thing? I put candles on my head, obviously. I'm going to go get that. Wow. Those things can really roll when you let them. So where can I put this so it won't fall off? Let's come back. Now I'll see if I remember. Can you even see it? Looks like it's flashing. Put it next to Crunch's leg so you can... There, now you have something to stare at. Yeah, but that's silly. If, if... And I realize I am doing these just for me. But I still expect other people to watch it. So, I don't know. I think he's looking for me to say some kind of sex thing, and that's just not going to happen. All the talk about people's favorite episode of Blank makes me wonder, what has been your favorite episode of these? You're up to almost 50. Yeah, that's right. This is, uh, what, 46? I can't tell one from another, though. It's just days going by to me, so 
I don't know. Does anything stand out over the past 46 days that I have done these? If you've seen them, and I kind of doubt anyone's seen all of them. Well, maybe enough people count on one hand or two hands. Let me know, because then I'll go back to the well and do all those things all over again. Maybe. I don't know. That's how I write. Next week, you're going to have to do some crazy... You're going to have to do some crazy to celebrate. I can't translate that into English. I'm sorry. If these were comic books, someone usually either dies or gets a new costume or a new writer artist on the book. Perhaps have your evil twin brother come in and take your place for a while. Uh, my evil twin brother would have a beard. Wait a minute. Man, I gotta shave. Did I start drinking early today or what? I'm sensing you may have. That was totally a drunken question. Other people send texts to ex-girlfriends. You hang out on the board and post. Greg says the Hornets are really bad. Even on the second day of a back-to-back, -back, Kevin Love and the Wolves should be able to handle them. That's good to know because J.J. Bray is injured again. We may see the debut of Malcolm Lee, called up from the Sioux Falls Sky Force. We shall see. Pekovic may be back tomorrow, though. I would say it's more likely than not that he will play. 20,000 white T-shirts have been placed on every seat in the Target Center for the wideout. I'll be wearing my musky shirt, which is white, but also has a musky on it. I was wrong about it being on TV, by the way. It's not on national television. Saturday's game against the Hornets is going to be on NBA TV, but Friday's game is not going to be on anything but Fox Sports North and probably whatever Lakers station has it. You have like two or three different places to see it though, right? They still call it California 9? That's a joke. I live down there the year that KHJ changed their long-standing call letters to KCAL to become California 9. And us Southern Californians there at the time love telling stories of Jerry Dunphy and Hal Fishman, which is two people, me and John D. Williams, who is probably not watching Greg also asks about a guest host for one of these videos that can only talk about CRZ-related topics. There's no one interested enough to do that. I promise you. Maybe Aaron would do one and talk about you. I don't know if Aaron even has a camera. I don't know if Aaron wants to appear on camera. I believe he has grown a Joaquin, level, a Joaquin Phoenix level beard and looks like a real mountain man, hermit. It's really kind of amazing he still has his job, given the magnificent quality of his facial hair. But he is in Oregon. Maybe they all look like that there. Aaron has already shot it down, saying, it's really my thing. Well, the channel is named after me. I learned years ago I shouldn't try to follow in his footsteps. Ah, you don't give yourself enough credit. You're an okay writer, at least from what I've seen. You haven't written anything lately, of course. You probably got that out of your system by marrying a writer. Have you all picked up Lisa's book? Lisa doesn't like to pimp her book, but there's one out there. If you need to know more about it, you got to ask her. All right, I think I had some comments on Google+. I see I'm running out of time, too, so i got to snap this up. Kevin Donahue says, Not all the Timberwolves games are on TV. Is that normal for pro sports teams in the area? Almost all the games are on Fox Sports North. But I was talking about national TV. There's only four Timberwolves games on national TV. And it's one on ESPN, two on NBA TV, and one on ESPN2. And the NBA TV game, one of them, Saturday. So you got nothing better to do Saturday. See it. Dave chimes in. The Lakers are atrocious on the road. Back-to-back -back losses to the Pistons and Wizards. So maybe, maybe Friday will be good. And then maybe Saturday will be good. It'll be a four-game sweep of the homestand. And they're only about three games out of the number three spot in the playoffs. So if we can get a couple more spots up, even better. I'd love to take the Spurs on in the first round. i got to start saving my money for playoff tickets. I expect the prices will be outrageous. 
that's probably all I got. I didn't go to YouTube, so if there are YouTube comments, I apologize for not addressing them. I will do them tomorrow when I try once and for all to catch up on this week, which has just been a disaster work-wise, but okay video-wise. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear yours. Please leave a comment or like or tweet or plus or some other word that shouldn't be a verb but is. CRZ is the name. CRZ.net is the website. All the information you need on the life I am living online where I stalk myself so you don't have to. Catchphrase. See you tomorrow.